I want you all to hear eight out of thousands of reasons black people were lynched, according to the Equal Justice Initiative's report of reported lynchings. John Stoner was lynched in Doss, Louisiana in 1909 for suing the white man who killed his cow. Frank Dodd was lynched in DeWitt, Arkansas in 1916 for annoying a white woman. Ernest Green and Charlie Lang, both 14, were lynched in Shibuta, Mississippi in 1942 after a white girl said they were threatening. Shalom, shalom, call her law, Yehawah, Bahashim, Yehawah Shai, Bahashim, Rakakwadash. That's giving all praise to the Most High, name of the only begotten Son, name of the Holy Spirit. My name is Ibar from the Prophets of Babylon camp down here in Tampa, Florida. I want to give double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone who taught us the truth and truth and sincerity, peace and salutation to the whole for elect scattered abroad. It's another quick break video. Um, and as you see, this woman she's going into, uh, somebody, the catcher says, they really expect us to get over this. Laugh my fucking ass off. And um, she's going into the reasons why Jake's got lynched here in America. Okay. It's thousands and, and infinite reasons, but she, I, I believe she, she, she gets eight different simple reasons why our people were, you know, lynched, man. Okay. And Esau just want them want to sweep this under the rug and by the way this woman i hate the way she says white but you know but for edification's sake i had to play this video man um and i believe she's at like some memorial or something for uh slavery which like i said you saw thinking that they could just sweep this under the rug man but now nah, you have to answer for all this all right so i'm gonna start off with the scripture obadiah chapter 1 verse 10 it says for thy violence against thy brother jacob shame shall cover thee and thou shalt be cut off forever. So before, for Esau's, which is the white race's violence against Jacob, their brother, which Jacob is the so-called Negro Hispanic Native Indians, shame is going to cover them, man. So right now, you know, hey, they're, they're starting to feel that shame. All right. And they know they got to pay for all this. All right. So let's bring this back. I want you all to hear eight out of thousands of reasons black people were lynched, according to the Equal Justice Initiative's report of reported lynchings. John Stoner was lynched in Doss, Louisiana in 1909 for suing the white man who killed his cow. Frank Dodd was lynched in DeWitt, Arkansas in 1916 for annoying a white woman. Mm. Ernest Green and Charlie Lang, both 14, were lynched in Shibuta, mm. Mississippi in 1942 after a white girl said they were threatening. Mm. Oliver Moore was lynched in Edgecombe County, North Carolina in 1930 for frightening a white girl. Henry Patterson was lynched in LaBelle, Florida in 1926 for asking a white woman for a drink of water. Mm. Elizabeth Lawrence was lynched in Birmingham, Alabama in 1933 for reprimanding white children who threw rocks at her. Jesse Thornton was lynched in Laverne, Alabama in 1940 for addressing a white police officer without the title Mr. Mm. A black construction worker was lynched at Camp Blanding, Florida in 1941 Florida. for insisting that a white co-worker return his shovel. Mm. So there you go. You know, you see the different reasons why, you know, we, why, why we was lynched here in, in this land. OK. Oh. Frank Dodd was lynched. Fuck, let me go back to that. Let's go here. Yeah. According to the equal. I'm not sure what she's showing here, but it looks like she's at some memorial or something. And you notice about half of those um, incidences ha happened behind the white woman. Okay, was the white woman, you know, telling and, uh, you know, um, lying on men. Jake's one girl said that two 14-year-old boys look threatening. All right, and got them killed just because they look threatening, you see. So you might got, got a lot to pay, man. You got a lot to pay for and, 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 and we ain't forgot about it. The Lord has not forgot about it. And, and we, we know it's hunting you every day and night. You know, it says it is you waking up in cold sweats. Edomites waking up in cold sweats, having dreams of them being slaves, which is the, your your um very near future. OK, Obadiah, chapter one, verse 15. For the day of Yahweh is near upon all the heathen as thou hast done. It shall be done unto thee. Thy reward shall return upon thine own head. So the day. Um, of the Lord, which when I was when a most high sends his son back to uh, recompense, you know, and that day is coming very, very soon, and it's near upon all the heathen, not just you so called white people, but all the heathen, even this woman right here, you know, she had to be Edomite, okay, when she went the way she said white, she had to be an Edomite, all right, but um, 
not just not not just you Caucasians, but 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 all you nations, man, you got hell to pay. Scripture says, um, what nation have not had a part in her spoils? So all of y'all have had a part in destroying us, and you are gonna get ha, ha, have your part in that uh in that in, in that slavery, man, for a thousand years. It says it shall be done unto thee. So what you did unto us, guess what? Now we about to do it unto you in righteousness. All right, in righteousness. It says, um. And, and, and this is how they terrified our people, bro. They destroyed Jake to this day. Jake got Stockholm syndrome, scared and destroyed. The first thing you when you tell a Jake about slavery and how we gonna have these Edomites in slavery now, they say, well, 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 they gonna come back and they gonna come back into power and put us back in slavery. You know, you have scared the shit out of Jake, bro, from what you did to us. So guess what? Now you gotta pay for that. It says, and 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 they never go on into power again after America, man. After after this last kingdom. OK, after America falls, they're never going to power again. All right. After that, after that thousand years of hardcore bondage and slavery, they will be eradicated off the face of the earth. That's why I said, um, and and thou shall be cut off forever. You know, your whole nation is going to be cut off forever, man. OK, so let's go to. Um, Abu Dach at one verse 15 for thy for the day of the Yahweh is near upon all the heathen as thou hast done. It shall be done unto thee. Thy reward shall return upon thine own head. So you got to pay for this, man. Okay, let me jump down to verse 17. It says, but but upon Mount Zion shall be deliverance, and there shall be Salakia. And there shall be holiness, and the house of Jacob shall possess their possessions. You see, so the house of Jacob shall possess their possessions. You know, so everything that you have is gonna come back to us. All the gold, all the everything that you stole, we're gonna get all that back. It says, verse 18, and the house of Jacob shall be a fire. In the house of Joseph for a, a, a it's like a flame, in the house of Esau, okay, which Jacob is was symbol, symbolic in the southern kingdom, Joseph is symbolic in the northern kingdom, which are the so-called Native Americans, um, the Native Indians and um and, and Latinos and Hispanics, and Jacob being the southern kingdom is symbolizing the Negroes. So like, yeah. The blacks, you know, so-called Negroes, uh, Haitians, you know, Jamaicans, West Indies. It says, and e in the house of Esau, so the race of Esau, which is a so-called white race, for stubble. So you, we're gonna, we, 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 hey, what, what does a fire and a flame do to stubble? It says, and they shall kindle in them and devour them, and there shall be not any remaining. Of the house of Esau, for Yahweh have spoken it. So there will be no more remaining of the house of Esau, man. Not one, okay? Not one Edomite will 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 be left, you know, walking around here, you know, proud and, you know, not one. All right. So from there, I want to go to Isaiah, chapter fourteen. I get right to the point. Isaiah chapter fourteen. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 14. I'll start at verse 2. It says, And the people shall take them. Who is it them? You heathens. And the people is us. Shall take them and bring them to their place. We're going to bring you to our place. Like how you brought us to your place on them slave ships. We're going to bring you to our place on, you know, probably dragging your ass from the chariots. It says, And the house of Israel shall possess them in the land of Yahweh. For servants and handmaids. So the house of Israel shall possess them in the land of Yahweh Bashem Yahushai. Okay, which the land of Yahweh Bashem Yahushai is uh, the land of Israel. We're going to get our land back and we're going to possess these other nations. And the Lord said that he was going to give, I mean, the Most High says he's going to give Yahweh Shai the heathen for an inheritance, which we, 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 we plan and, and hope to be joint heirs with Yahweh Shai. Okay, which means you will be given to us for an inheritance as well. Okay. And it says for service and handmaid. So we never gonna work again. Okay. So like here. Anything that we need done, we're gonna have you heathens as slaves to do it for us. Like how you had us as slaves to do it for you. Even our women. You know, woman, you know, means female servants. So our women are you know servants to us. Our women are gonna have servants, man. So the things that they don't want to do, they're gonna have they're gonna have their uh, slaves to do it, which 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 ultimately it's all gonna be under us. 
you know so if, so if your woman have a slave then that's your slave you know but she you know you 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 like that's what Esau did with us too they would give us to um to to, to their kids or to their wife for a gift or for a present so we so 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 we gonna be get get, get gift in our, our our wives and our um uh children you you eat them mice for a present man okay and for it says for a servant for servants and handmaids man which is polite, polite words of saying slaves all right we ain't gonna be doing you know no no we ain't gonna be doing no work in the kingdom of heaven all right to lock here I'm tired as hell it says and they shall take them captives whose captives they were and they shall rule over their oppressors you see so we're gonna take them captives whose captives we were and the lord said we shall rule over all oppressors so we we, we were oppressed by these devils you know they killed the man for for, for, for not calling the, uh, the cop killed the man for not calling him mister you see we were oppressed by you so now you're gonna be our now, now you're gonna be oppressed by us it says, and it shall come to pass in the day that Yahweh shall give thee rest from thy sorrow. Imagine your loved one just got hung because they look threatening. You know, your son just got hung. 14-year-old son just got hung because he looked threatening, you know, to some Edomite. Okay, so all that sorrow, all that fear they put into us, hey, the Lord's going to give us rest from all that. That's going to cease, man. Okay, Jake is, like I said, Jake has got Stockholm Syndrome. They totally gone, you know, and that's because of Esau. It says, and it shall come to pass in the day that Yahweh shall give thee rest from thy sorrow and from thy fear and from the hard bondage wherein thou was made to serve. So we're gonna have rest, man. You know, no more slavery for no more slavery for us, but it's just the beginning for you. You know. Let's go to verse seven. The whole earth is at rest. When when Esau is taken out of power, the whole earth is gonna be at rest. It says, and it's quiet. They break forth into singing. The whole world gonna be, you know, joyful, man. It's that like the cartoons. You know, the, the, the animals and the trees and everything going to be singing and having a good time. You know, this has going to be when Esau is taken out of power. It says, yeah, the fir trees rejoice at thee and the cedars of Lebanon. Imagine you a tree and you got, you know, the children of God hanging from you. You know, <laughs> that's crazy as hell, bro. Amen. Amen. The, the, these trees are alive, bro. These trees, they have life in them. You know, I ain't going to say they got a spirit, but they have, but, 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 but they, they have, they have life in them, man. You know, so so it says the trees rejoice at thee, and the cedars of Lebanon saying, since thou art laid down, no feller have come up against us, because Esau would do all the, the deforestation and you know pollution and scripture says he shall destroy him that destroyed the earth. All right, I believe the elders and apostles are going into it in, in their camp video about how America used to be a, 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 a you know um, you know just straight greenery, man. You know, now it's concrete, man. You know, dumps and shit. Let's jump down, get right to the point. All enough with this. Because you may say, oh, well, that was the past. That was the past. That was our forefathers. It wasn't us. Well, guess what? You got to pay for what your forefathers did. And really, if you want to be spiritual about it, you are your forefathers. Like, we are our forefathers. So the ones that you was lynching and hanging, guess who was that? Hey, that's us. We are back again today. Okay? And, and, and now, guess what? Now it's time for you. To, to, to face that judgment it says isaiah chapter 14 and every last jake was, was lynched to hang man every last jake probably you know lived the lifestyle over here in, um i mean lived life over here in america for slavery because we had to go through that so you had certain israelites that was still in uh in, in, in the land of africa you know and then they died and they probably was, was was reborn over here in america on the plantation man you know just to fear that slavery so every every last one of you Edomites got to face slavery now, man. Every last one of us went through it. Guess what? Now it's time for you to go through it. All right. Isaiah chapter 14, verse 21. Prepare slaughter for his children for the iniquity of their fathers, for, for your father's sins. Like I said, you are your fathers, that they do not rise, nor possess the land, nor fill the face of the world with cities. So the Lord said, prepare slaughter for his children, which you are your father's children. It says, for I will rise up against them, saith Yahweh of hosts. And cut off from Babylon the name and remnant and son and nephew, saith Yahweh, I will make also it it's like I will also make it a possession for the bittern and pools of water, and I will sweep it with the beastum of destruction, saith Yahweh of hosts. So everything that you done inherited here, you know, that you done bet you know, you know, bastin and you know, been proud about, 
hey, the Lord gonna take it all from you. He gonna strip it from you. He he gonna destroy it. Okay. So with that being said, I'm gonna say shalom, Kwame Sharala, Baba Bar, praise, blessings, be edified to the whole elect. Shalom.